unanticipated discovery of a right upper lobe bronchus originating from the trachea. This was an 84-year-old female hypertensive patient who presented with severe symptoms of shortness of breath with uh, exertion. On evaluation, it was determined that she had non-obstructive coronary artery disease, mild to moderate pulmonary hypertension, an increased left ventricular and diastolic pressure, and severe mitral regurgitation due to a flail posterior mitral valve leaflet, as well as a small patent foramen ovale with left to right flow. She was admitted for medical management of heart failure symptoms and then surgical mitral valve repair under cardiopulmonary bypass through a right mini thoracotomy. After proper vascular access, general anesthesia was induced and endotracheal intubation and transesophageal echocardiography was uh, done, confirming the diagnosis. Right lung isolation was obtained using a 9 French bronchial blocker placed with the aid of bronchoscopy as it is customary for these cases at our center. Surgical team proceeded to cannulate the right common femoral artery and vein through a cut down isolation and a right mini thoracotomy was done. Upon chest access, the surgeon noted that the right upper lobe was being ventilated despite what appeared bronchoscopically as a properly positioned right bronchial blocker. Upon bronchoscopic re-examination of the trachea, fold was noted on the lateral distal right side of the trachea just above the main carinal level. Note the left lung at the bottom and what appeared to be the right bronchus on the uh, top. The arrows note the fold noted on bronchoscopic examination. So view is noted with the trachea on the lateral position. Upon examination under the fold, the emergence of the right upper lobe was noted above the level of the main carina. And thus, what we thought was the right bronchus was actually the bronchus intermedius. So at the bottom, the left bronchus, then the bronchus intermedius, and we're advancing the bronchoscope from the trachea, trying to go under the fold, and we enter what it is the right upper lobe bronchus that originates from the trachea and this patient just above the level of the carinus. We withdraw from the bronchus, right upper low bronchus. We note the bronchus intermedius, and then the main carina and the left bronchus in the bottom. And thus, the right lung could not really be isolated with a bronchial blocker. This had not been noted before as the fold above the emergence of the right upper low bronchus was not easily seen unless very steep bronchoscope tip angulation maneuvering uh, was done, and thus was initially missed. The lung isolation attempt was stopped and the surgical team proceeded to complete the thoracic surgical dissection required after undergoing carpomeroid bypass when mechanical ventilation was stopped. This was done instead of changing the single lumen tube for a double lumen tube to obtain right lung isolation. Using a left double lumen endotracheal tube is the only effective way to properly isolate the right lung in situations where the right upper lobe originates directly from the trachea as in this case. The case proceeded uneventfully with a mitral valve repair with a triangular resection and posterior cleft uh, also closure and a reduction anuloplasty with a ring. Also a patent foramen ovale closure. Postoperatively, the patient radiology hospital database was examined and noted she had had a chest computed tomography done as part of the initial workup on admission where the tracheal origin of the right upper bronchus was evident, but unfortunately this information had escaped the surgical and anesthetic team on the day of surgery. Here the chest x-ray postoperative of the patient, really no clear indication of an anomalous origin of the right upper low bronchus. This is a magnified view, again, not clearly visualized uh, on the plain chest x-ray. The computed tomography noted from coronal planes from front to back we will see uh, how the trachea divides and uh, the takeoff of the right upper bronchus uh, is above the main carina. We'll follow the trachea and as we approach the carina we will notice the emergence of the right upper lobe above the level of the carina. The arrow indicates the right upper lobe takeoff above the level of the main carina. A zoom view, you can see the right upper, the bronchus intermedius, and the left bronchus, as well as the trachea. And then we will continue 
to uh, see the uh, coronal uh, cuts. It is interesting always how the computer tomography can give such a nice anatomical view of the uh, structures in the body. To follow, we'll see the transverse uh, computer tomography cuts from top to bottom, the right as on the left side of the screen, and you follow the trachea. And now we can see the lung apices and left and right. You can see there was some evidence of uh, congestion in the lungs. As we uh, follow the trachea distally, we will note the emergence of the right upper low bronchus from the main trachea or from the trachea. As we continue distally, we will note now the appearance of the carina, the bronchus intermedius, and the left main bronchus. As the image continues uh, distally or caudally, you continue to see the uh, lung uh, appearance uh, suggestive of heart failure or congestion. So in this case, the isolation of the right lung with a bronchial blocker uh, was technically uh, very difficult, if not impossible. So this nice article was uh, obtained from the internet where aberrant origin of the right upper low bronchus is discussed and a case presentation as well. And the main uh, points of this article are displayed in the following slides. They uh, mentioned that tracheal bronchus was first described by Sandiford in 1785 as a right upper low bronchus originating from the trachea, and that spiral CT is a preferred method uh, to studying congenital anomalies of the tracheal bronchial tree. There are many uh, variations of the lower and segmental bronchial subdivisions, but it's less, much less common, the uh, anomalies from the main bronchus. There is a prevalence of 0.1 to 2% of right tracheal bronchus uh, anomalies. When the entire uh, right upper low uh, bronchus is displaced on the trachea, it is also called a pig bronchus, as in this case, and it was uh, it has a reported frequency of 0.2%. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for uh, watching it.